So if we focus in now on design and in the modern economy with the modern audience, are there, do you see any new challenges, things that maybe two decades ago we wouldn't necessarily be dealing with, but to today as we right. design the education, what do you see today? Well, I think, you know, as everybody well knows, the, the workforce is changing pretty dramatically, especially in, in the last decade. Um, when we think, you know, sort of 10, 20 years ago, the, it's less about, you know, sort of the, uh, everybody likes to talk about millennials and, and, you know, sort of the different ways that they have expectations of their organizations and the different ways they behave or the different ways they use technology. Uh, but really the challenge is, is more of the spread of the generations in the workforce mm -hmm. that, um, you know, you go all the way back to, you know, baby boomers who are, you know, sort of delaying retirement. Um, to the strong, you know, sort of influx of workforce that's coming in from the millennials. And now you have this really wide um, sort of generation gap of, you know, okay, I have to deal with both, um, you know, sort of the, the baby boomer, boomers, the, the Gen X folks, the Gen Yers, you know, and, and to think about the spectrum, you know, to which you have to design your, your education and communication formats for. Um, these people, you know, you have folks that, that grew up with television and, and sort of, you know, barely got into the internet age to, to people that grew up with an iPad in their hand, you know, at, at two years old, right? Um, and, and those are, those are you know, sort of very different ways that we have to think about in terms of how do we design content um, and, and how do we design programs that, that really, you know, strike a chord for these, you know, sort of broad range of employees.